chronically blue. Hello, all of my sleepy bears. My name's Chronically Blue, and welcome back. Down, up, here we go. So this is the fishing episode. Uh, I love fishing in this game specifically. In, in most video games, I love fishing. I don't like it in real life because it takes forever, but we're just gonna, this is gonna be a really chill episode. We're just gonna go through, fish a lot, and just talk, you know? It's been a while since I talked to y'all. Um, I recently went to Universal Studios, and it was the first time in like 20 years. So it was practically the first time. The place is so big, and it, it it's kind of... There's nothing that I was specifically looking forward to, because I am not... Uh, I'm not a big movie person. I don't watch a lot of movies. Uh, let alone cult classics. I, I barely watch those, so... When I saw all the attractions for a bunch of the movies that I haven't seen, I'm just like, huh? Where? Why would I care? And the we went, we walked a lot, and there were it was really difficult in order to find. Ooh, it was really difficult to find the um <clears throat> secret sections. Uh, if you're looking for them, just look for the triangle podium. That helps you know if you're at a secret section or not. But it was, it was very hard to find. I figured they would at least have a, like, sign to be like, Hey, look, it's the secret section. But, I don't know. No, I'm not foul, I guess. It's a Gorami. Um... We walked around a lot, uh, went to, I'm, I'm not a big superhero person, but I thought that the Marvel place was kind of cool. They have a road at Stanley Drive, which is super cool. And then there was like comic strip land, which I'm like, I didn't know that was universal, but apparently it was. And it was cool. I got to see Betty Boop, Popeye the Sailor Man, Olive, and... Boink, boink. It was, it was, it was kind of cool actually to see that. Three gold cards. That's lovely. I cannot wait to use them for something. <laughs> I went by Jurassic Park World, and I, I, I am, I have not seen a single Jurassic Park movie. I, it, I, it's, it's just not for me. I don't care about dinosaurs. And. Like, I, I don't know what to say of that. I just don't care for it. Uh, Harry Potter Land was massive and overcrowded, overpopulated, sweet goodness. I have never felt more like a muggle than going to Harry Potter Land and not being dressed up. Like, it, it was it, it, it was a little much. Um, but then again, you know, they're having the fun. They had the, the butterbeer, which is just butterscotch. And, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. We, we were just looking around. Uh, the majority of our party couldn't do any rides, so we, we were just, like, looking around. Which, completely fine. I, if I had the time, I'd be happy to spend a day, go in and look around at stuff, see what all's there, and then plan around that for the next trip. Which I think is exactly what we are doing. We're just seeing this. We saw the stuff, and then we're like, okay, let's go and... Do the stuff that we like next time. And one, th they have a Fast and Furious ride. Haven't seen any of the Fast and Furious movies. Um, I I want to say they used to have an ET ride. I don't know if they still do or not. They probably do. They had a Dr. Seuss Land, which was kind of cool. Uh, it was. If you are someone that's not a fan of roller coasters, but people are trying to get you to go onto a roller coaster, just go to Dr. Seuss Land. It counts. It's a roller coaster. It's not fast. It's not twisty turvy. It's not upside down. It's it's fine. Uh, <laughs> there was an adult that had her kid on like a leash harness, and I'm just like, eh. 
<laughs> the reason why I laugh is because I, I, I think it's a little funny how we've gotten there to where it's like, you know what, I kids are going to run around. We can't stop it at this point. Sometimes you're not as fast as the kid. So, bam, you got a leash on you. And I, I'm just, it, it's I'm going through my head is like all the years where someone's like, we need to put these kids on like a tether. And like, what? No, that's that's like inhumane. That's cruel. And then they're just like, okay, we give up. Put them on a tether. That That's at least what I think. And again, we still have a lot of fishing tokens. We, we still, we're still going to be here for a while. Because... This is the fastest way to grind experience, cocos, whole nine yards. Just nice, calm fishing, and I really appreciate it. I don't know if the lake ever runs out of fish. Uh, it might, but as far as I know, it doesn't. On the drive up, we were watching Indiana Jones, and it's all right. I have seen all four movies. Uh, you can ask me questions about them. I, I wouldn't be able to give you any answer. Like, none whatsoever. Now, if you ask me anything about Pixar or Disney, I'm right there. I am right there. So, after walking around for a while, we stopped at the Bubba Gump uh, restaurant, which I didn't know was an actual restaurant. And... You know, I, I'm, I completely went over my head, but it, it was good. It was it was actually really good, really expensive too, like sweet goodness. Um, they had a dairy-free, adult spicy water-free smoothie, which is like mango pineapple. It's really good. I had a sip, and you know, I got a I got a steak. Well done, because that's how I like my steaks. Uh, even though everyone crucifies me for it. <laughs> I don't care. If I'm paying for it, or if, if I'm going to eat it, I'm going to cook it the way I want it cooked. I'm not just going to, like, oh, well, because everyone told me to, I'll go ahead and waste someone else's $40. Like, what? No. Ooh, it's an isopod. I'm pretty sure there's going to be, like, a trophy that comes up when you've gotten all the fish. Pretty sure, anyway. It is it is really good to see Big here again. Hey, a flying fish. They had an episode about that in Octonauts. So I can actually elaborate on that a little bit. So, in high school and middle school, uh, I had to ride the bus. And wake up at stupid early times, like 6.30, something like that. Like super early times. And because of that time, uh, there was not a lot on. And most of the time I would like wake up like half an hour earlier or so, not intentionally, that or something else would happen. And anyway, the, the TV would be on and the only thing on was Disney Junior, which was mostly uh, Charlie and Lola, which I think was only shorts now that I think about it. Um, Choo Choo Soul, which I think is also shorts. And then the Octonauts. And Little Einsteins. Hey, Silver Acorn. Um, so I would just, like, wake up, get dressed, and then like sit and watch Octonauts while eat my breakfast because nothing else was on. And... I, there was an episode about flying fish, and I'm just like, I didn't know there were flying fish. And of course, this was like years after I played Scooby-Doo Night of Hundred Frights, where there are definitely flying fish in there. I just thought, that's a weird enemy to have. It's like a swimming eagle, you know? <laughs> But uh, it, it was all right. It wasn't bad. It it you can do a lot worse with kids shows to entertain your kids. 
Octonauts is one of those where it's like, it's not, it, it's, it's not like, count the things. Look for the shape. That is a beaut. Um, they just go on like underwater adventures, find a sea animal, and then learn like three or four facts about it. And then uh, they do a cute little dance at the beginning and the end. There's a cat pirate with one eye. I want to say a polar bear is the head. Of, it's either a polar bear or a koala. I can't. I I can't tell. But it, it, it wasn't bad. It, it was it was alright. Now, Bluey. Don't get me started on Bluey. I don't know what it is with these blue anthropomorphic animals, but they're just like reaching out to my childhood and being like, we can help you. And I'm just like, okay. I, I got nothing else better to do. I also remember Secret Agent Oso, where... Agent Wolf was played by Dr. Mosby from, sorry, Mr. Mosby from uh, Speed Left to Zack and Cody. But, yeah, you know, nothing bad. <laughs> I remember how they were used to do episodes with, like, kids, like little shorts or whatever. And they'd be like, hey, look, they're getting ready with this person. They're getting ready with Secret Agent Oso. Getting ready with Bear in the Big Blue House. Okay, we're actually going to check the Fishopedia. See if we are missing any. Would you like to try? I'll let you bob. Okay, it doesn't look like it. I'm going to go and check the thing anyway, just to see if it says 100% fish found. I'm hoping so. But if not, it's okay. We, we can keep fishing. I can keep telling stories about my past. Yeah, it's like we're actually on a fishing trip together. And if you ever go to a fishing trip and you have like this big question for someone, uh, just... Yeah, we did get them all. Awesome. Just think very heavily about if I ask this question now and I don't get the answer I'm hoping for, is this going to make everything awkward? So just keep the questions while fishing very light. Because you, you can't go anywhere, you know? Gonna trade tokens. Uh, we actually need quite a bunch of portal gears, so I'm very happy to have that. Um, we don't need Knuckles Memory Tokens, thank goodness. I want to say we need, like, a bunch of power. Alright, so we're at 15, see the power for there. There. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna get some skill pieces. Some. I really don't care about the cocos, actually. I, I guess we'll get the egg memo because I'm sure that's useful for something. Okay, so... Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow. Okay. Hey, let's see just how well that does with everything. <laughs> now that we've gotten a bunch of stuff. I mean, like, a bunch. Lots of skill pieces. Seeds of power, seeds of defense. So, let's go ahead and see how that affects us. Also, we can now fast travel to Coco's again. Which is awesome. 
Sonic was hung on the head. Sonic, you don't look so good. Yeah, he's probably fine. Um, better, better, bum. Here we go. We're going to use everything to increase green capacity, I guess. Oh boy. Thanks. So helpful. Okay. Still going through fast travel. Uh, yeah, so look at things go to the hermit, the hermit's one with the key to power and such. Now remember, we did buy a l <laughs> yeah, we bought a lot, so our defense and power has significantly raised. So. Okay, but at least now it should be a lot easier to take care of stuff. Okay, it uh, looks like we have two missions to do when we come back next time. And uh, not including fighting all the robots and then the stages. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Goodbye, my sleepy bears.